Hi, how are you? Hey, Alan. Nice to see you. What, do, what part, body part are you doing? So we're going to do some lower back stuff today. Oh, great. <laughs> That's good. I, want, okay. I, just saw, I just saw Phil's back, so I really want to keep mine healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you have a, we'll probably just like, if you have like an ab mat or like a pillow work, we'll need one of those at some point. Okay. What's up, Kelly? You got it, hey, Margaret. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. I can't complain. Oh, hi, Becca's forehead. Oh, there's the rest of you. Little Ehab's here, of course. Have to show up for mobility class, Brock. Well, yeah, Ehab, you're like a mobility celebrity. You're too kind. <laughs> up Cassie Caroline welcome so we'll, we'll get started in like two minutes or so um, if you guys have like a yoga mat if you're on like a hard floor you might want a yoga mat uh, and if you have like an ab mat or a pillow, you want to use something like that also. What's up, Tara? Do we need any toys? Oh, yeah, I was just saying, uh, if you're on like a hard floor, you might want a yoga mat. And then if you have an ab mat or just like a pillow, that's roughly that size. That'd be good.
All right, looks like most of the normal teams here. Sherry has arrived. Oh, and speaking of the usual team, there's Kasha. I was unpacking my new anthropology dishes. <laughs> Ooh, some uh, quarantine online shopping spree. Hey, whenever there's a sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of them the right best now. Stuff. And it's like 50% off, you guys. Like they're gonna get some new customers after mobility class is over. <laughs> I had or during. I can't tell what you guys are doing. <laughs> Gotta up my plating game. I'm posting all these pictures of food. Need to be on cuter plates. That's, so, so. That's true. All right, cool. Uh, so we're gonna get started in a second. The couple of you guys just joined in. Uh, equipment wise, if you have. Uh, if you're not on like a soft floor, you might want a yoga mat. And then if you have an ab mat or maybe like a pillow, you can grab that. You can do this stuff without it. It'll just be a little, a little more comfortable with it. But we are going to do um, lower back stuff today, lumbar spine stuff. Uh, Brandon said that that was one of the requests he got. So that's what we're going to hit. Um, so first thing uh, with our back, specifically into our lower back, but in general with your back and how that relates to um, that mobility triad we've been talking about with strength, flexibility, and technique. Um, so the big thing with your back, especially with lifting, uh, is balancing the flexibility in your back and the strength. So if you're too flexible, it's going to be really hard to stabilize your back uh, while you're lifting heavy weights, which we all do often uh, and then maybe if you got too much strength not enough flexibility being too rigid is also a problem uh, kind of same issue lead to a lot of the same injuries potentially so finding that balance between having the flexibility and the strength uh, and then as always getting your brain to connect with those muscles in your back and get it to do the same thing uh, in between every vertebrae uh, is basically a joint so that's a lot of control needed to move your back uh, but specifically, we're going to talk about your lower back, your lumbar spine today. Um, so one thing we're going to talk about a lot, I'm going to talk about neutral hips. Um, so what that means, first off, is having your hips uh, in a proper alignment, which is going to be a little bit different for everybody, but where they're not tilted too far forward or tucked under too far. So we don't have that like Instagram fitness model hip position where you're like, I'm going to stand on my bench, that works, where you're like tucked way up here or uh, the other way when it's tucked way under here and you have a really flat lower back. Neither of those are ideal. So making sure uh, we're in a position and I'll talk about that while we're doing some of these exercises. Um, and then like real quick, just anatomy review before we get into it. Again, we're talking lumbar spine. Uh, if we take it from the top down, I don't have these numbers memorized, I printed them off, but uh, your first seven vertebrae, so from the neck down, our cervical spine, then uh, biggest section of your spine, your thoracic spine, so your upper back, that's the next 12, and then the five after that is your lumbar, so kind of that curve in your lower back, uh, and then your sacrum and your coccyx after that, but um, we're going to focus on the lumbar today. Uh, first off, we're going to do some strengthening, some stability exercises that'll help get your back warmed up uh, and then we'll do some stretches at the end for the same kind of section of your body. Uh, so what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to need some floor space. I'm going to move myself to the floor. So uh, we're going to do, all these are going to start with you lying face up. So this position here, um, you can wait a second to get in that position because it'll be hard to see me if you get right into it. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about those neutral hips. Uh, so again, good way to find that on the ground. If I'm lying flat on my back, uh, we talk about this a lot uh, with our hollow position is getting rid of that space right here. So if I'm just laying here, kind of not doing anything, I have a pretty big gap here that I'm going to want to try and close by tucking my hips under and flexing my abs now. Can't get my hand under my back. Uh, so that's the first thing. I want you guys to all lay down and just practice uh, doing that. And if you can, adjust your camera so I can see you guys. Uh, that'll be helpful for some of these exercises. If you can't, that's all right. But just uh, a few times, try like pressing that lower back into the floor, holding for a second and relaxing 
if you need a little tactile cue, you can stick your hand under your back and then, like imagine you're just trying to squish your hand. But maybe just five times, kind of tuck your hips under, get that gap gone, and then relax. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and sit up, kind of eyes back on the camera for the next part. Uh, so that's going to be the hip position that we want to achieve, that lower back position we want to achieve for all these drills. So I'm going to keep reminding you guys to tuck those ribs down, tuck your hips under, make sure that back is flat. That's going to be your cue um, to whether or not you're doing these exercises as effectively as you can. If you're doing them and you start to feel some space in between you and the floor in your lower back, then you know you got to tighten it up get back in position. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, Rock, with is, a that, uh, is that tightening also the glutes at the same time or trying uh, to bring the glutes separate the, from the, the, uh, the glutes will actually need to like relax and lengthen relax. to uh, That's what I get that hip tucked under. All right. So first thing we're going to do now, uh, you're going to set yourself up again, watch the, the demo first. I'm going to have my feet flat on the floor. I'm going to tuck my hips under and then I'm just going to practice just moving my arms. It's going to feel really easy for a lot of you, but I want you to focus on keeping that space here. And then with control, dropping your arm back to the floor and then going to the other side. I just want you to do five on each side and focus. Again, keeping those ribs, ribs tucked down, keep that lower back pressed into the floor. So go ahead, just five on each side. And don't forget, nice controlled breaths. If you were here last week, I'm, you remember I'm going to want you to try and breathe through your nose the whole time, too. Okay, so it should be about five on each side done there. Once you've done five again, eyes back on the camera. So each of these drills, first couple are going to seem super easy, pretty chill, um, uh, but they will get progressively a little more challenging, especially uh, just technique wise, trying to get your body to stay in position. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is just the legs. So I'm going to set up in that same position, get my lower back pressed into the floor, and try and keep about a 90 degree bend in my knees. And then without losing that uh, tension down here, I'm going to lift my leg and then return it to the floor. Make sure focus here on keeping that back down, keeping the abs engaged. But five easy reps on both sides. Go ahead. Okay, nice and controlled. Again, try and keep your knee angle the same the whole time. Just press your back into the floor. Tasha, keep your knees bent, feet flat on the ground. There you go. good if you start feeling that space coming in just slow it down a little bit get that tension back all right okay so next one we're going to do this is going to be similar to like a dead bug exercise if you've ever done those before but uh, a little different because so we're going to set up in that same position i'm going to go arms overhead and we'll go opposite arm and leg are going to come up together so i'm going to get that tension Flatten my lower back against the floor, and then I'm going to lift left leg, right arm, go back down, and then right arm, or left arm, right leg, whatever, opposite side. <laughs> nice and controlled without losing that tension here. This one will be a little more challenging. If you don't feel your abs working, then you might be either you're a superhuman or you're probably uh, letting that lower back start to curve. Good. Opposite arm and leg. Good. Keep your head relaxed back. Yeah, just five on each side again. Let's 
stuff. Pretty coordinated bunch here. All right. Okay, so next one, uh, we are going to focus on lowering just the legs. So I'm gonna set myself up, press that lower back into the floor, feet are flat. Uh, arms can just be wherever is comfortable. You can probably just rest them on your abs. That'll be a good tactile cue to make sure you're keeping that tension. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna extend my legs straight up and then I'm just gonna keep my legs straight and lower it down as slow as I can. Focus on keeping this tension here all the way to the floor. Should be a pretty slow descent. So straighten your leg overhead and then slowly lower. Should be at least three seconds on the way down. Uh, just give me three on each leg for this one. So just extend the leg overhead, then slow, slow, slow on the way down. Should definitely feel this one working in your abs. Again, focus on pressing your lower back into the floor the whole time. Lots of tension. And try and keep that leg as straight as you can. Good, after you've done three on each side, you can go ahead, check out the camera again. All right, next up we're gonna do a couple of different types of the bridge exercise. So first one's just gonna be a regular bridge. Again, same starting position, feet are flat on the ground, tucking them back towards my butt. Uh, we do this one pretty often in our warm-ups or like deadlifts, cleans, stuff like that where we're pulling using our low back. But I'm gonna tighten up here, gonna keep this tension, and now I'm gonna shoot my hips up towards the ceiling. So obviously my low back is gonna come off the floor, it has to here, but I wanna keep this same shape, keep my hips and my lower back in that same relationship as I squeeze my glutes and push to the ceiling. I'm gonna lower back down, finding that same flat back on the floor position. So squeeze to the ceiling, lower back down. Should be nice and slow and controlled. Again, take your time and focus on kind of feeling that position. Think about what your hips are doing. You shouldn't feel them moving front to back. They should be locked in, in line with your low back. Just give me, um, yeah, let's go five reps here. And shoulders, but it looks almost like below your shoulders are also on the ground. Yeah, like you're, you're, the rest of your back, like you're basically pivoting on your shoulders. So think about pushing your hips to the sky. Good. And then real slow on the way back down. Make sure you find the floor with that low back. Stuff. Looks like you guys are all about done. Cassie, I love your emotional support dog for these exercises. All right. Cool. So next one, uh, same kind of bridge exercise, but just going to get a little more challenging. Uh, I'm going to set up same way, feet flat, push my lower back to the floor. I'm going to bridge up. And then I'm just going to take small steps. I'm going to lift my leg, put it back down. The goal here, when I'm making these small steps, I'm still keeping uh, turned on with my core, hips are tucked under, uh, and I want to try and avoid rotating my hips side to side as I lift that leg and place it back down. You can use kind of your elbows for a little extra support, or if you're a stud, you can have them relaxed up. Uh, but I want five on each side. So bridge your hips up, 
and then you just lift that foot up just you know maybe three to five inches off the floor or farther if it feels good get nice and slow keep the tension get the hips up as high as you can when you're in your bridge you want to imagine a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your knees Good. Don't have to go super high with the foot. Good. Once you've done five on each side, take a little break. Really good. Cool. Alrighty. So, uh, next one we're going to go into pretty quick because it's the same thing almost. I'm going to bridge up. I'm going to step and then I'm just going to extend, bring it back, back down. Step up, extend, back down. Uh, just do three on each side just so you guys feel it, just so we can keep moving. Yeah, try and push those hips up a little higher. There you go. All righty. Cool. So we got a bunch of exercises done uh, where we're laying on our back, feeling that position. So now we're going to go into some exercises uh, facing the other way. So you're not going to be able to feel that same position uh, with that tactile cue, but I still want you thinking about that uh, as far as keeping your lumbar in position. If you want uh, to use like a pillow or an ab mat for these, you can um, just put it like underneath your abs here. Um, it can give you a good cue for your uh, abs to have something to press into, make it a little more comfortable, but it's not necessary. Um, you can't do them without. So what we're gonna do first, is we're gonna set up, try and get that tension, tuck my hips under, and then arms straight up overhead, legs straight back. We're gonna lift opposite arm and leg. So here, The whole time, trying to not let that flexion happen in my low back, so I'm not arching my chest up. I'm just lifting the arm and that opposite leg. Just give me three on each side. Just go ahead and relax your head. Tuck those hips under. Doesn't have to be a ton of movement here. Keep your arms straight, legs straight. Good. Keep flexing those abs. Good stuff. Cool. We're going to get into the next one. So now we're going to go uh, separately. We're going to do the uh, both arms and then both legs, uh, but not link them together just yet. So you're going to set up, you're going to do five of each limb set. So I'm going to start with my arms. I'm going to tuck my hips, flex my abs, and then I'm just going to lift the arms together, relax them back down, lift and relax. After I do five of those, I'm going to do the same thing with my legs. So set here, lift, back down, lift, back down. So arms. Two arms together, then two legs together. Give me five of each. And again, don't rush through it. Get a nice little squeeze at the top. Hold that tension. Don't forget to think about where your hips are, where your ribs are. Keep that tuck. It's going to feel a lot harder to hold that tuck in these drills. Get 
five just the arms and then five just the legs. Probably gonna feel a lot less rewarding to do the legs, they don't go very far. Cool. All right, this is gonna be a big surprise, but now we're gonna do them together. Um, so this is basically like our Superman drill or like our arch position drill. So I'm gonna set up, same thing, get that tension, tuck, and then I'm just gonna lift arms and legs together. Just like that, just give me five of those. Yeah, cool. So uh, now we're going to move into some stretches for the last little bit of class here, focusing still on our low back or at least like the muscles that control your low back. So some of it will be a little bit of hamstrings, a little bit of glutes also because they do impact the hips and the hips impact the low back. Uh, this next one, you're going to take your ad mat or your pillow if you have it. It's going to sit uh, underneath your hips, uh, lower back area, and your feet are gonna go straight up on the wall. Just like this, super simple. If you got pretty flexible hamstrings, you can get right up against the wall, but it's a very gentle stretch. This is up way too high. There we go. So you can kind of start a little more gentle. This is not really doing much for me, so I'm gonna scoop myself in a little more and then set up again. Same thing as before, I want you guys to keep that good position tucking your ribs down, keeping the abs turned on. We're just gonna hang out here for about a minute. And while we're settled in here, I think most of you guys are here last week, uh, but focus on that breath. Big deep breaths in and out. So we're gonna go just about a minute here. If you're a few inches away from the wall, but you're feeling a little more comfortable, you can try and scoot yourself in a little bit for the last little bit. Take one more big deep breath on this one and then we'll come out of it. Good, so that's a really good gentle stretch to start with when you're uh, getting into stretching uh, your low back on through sequences of that. Next one we're gonna do, it's gonna be just uh, a knees to chest stretch. I'm basically gonna turn myself into a ball lay on the ground, lay back, and then I'm going to hug my knees as tight as I can and pull them up. If you need a little extra, you can grab down at your shins. Keep your knees together. You're really like bear hugging those knees and pulling them up to your chest, trying to use that leverage to stretch your lower back. If you're pretty flexible, you might not feel too much in this one, um, but it's a good gentle stretch. Again, easing into the stretches. We'll go just about 30 seconds here. Good. So you should be kind of like rolled up on your upper back as you're doing this, really pulling those knees back. Almost like you're picking up a sandbag, that kind of tuck into the chest. All 
All right, good. So we're going to go, the next one's going to use pretty much the same position, uh, but it's going to be a little more dynamic of a stretch. So it's going to massage your lower back, your erectors a little bit, but we're going to use that same position, but I'm going to just rock up and down my back. Nice gentle rock as I'm doing that. It's kind of like I'm using the floor as a foam roller almost, but just give me 10 rocks on your own there. And then as you roll back onto your shoulders and you pull on those knees, you're getting a little more dynamic stretch, getting a little more deep into that stretch. Yeah, just 10 rocks there. Then you can relax. So Brock, my hips pinch when I do that, like on the inside. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? <laughs> Probably, Probably not normal. normal. Yeah, with any of these, if you feel like pain or discomfort, it's good to either try and modify it or maybe that's just not the stretch for you. Um, but you can try the same thing with like, like... It's like the inside of my hips. Like when I do yeah, this, yeah. it's almost like they're not mobile enough and so it pinches. Yeah, there's probably some kind of hip flexor tightness going on. Um, I'm not a doctor though. That's not the official diagnosis. <laughs> All right, cool. So next one uh, we're going to do... Uh, it's just a glute stretch. Uh, I'm going to show you two versions to do this. This is not like a revolutionary stretch. You guys have all probably done this before. Um, normal version of this, cross the leg over, and then you just kind of grab this outside leg or grab on that knee and lean back into it. So this is like version 1.0. The way I like to do it to get a little deeper into the stretch, I'll try and get an angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. Once I set up here, I like to use uh, – this would be my opposite hand of this bent leg around that foot. So I'm going up and under, hooking onto it. And then that other hand is going on the outside of my knee. It gives me a lot of leverage. I can pull this foot down. I can pull that knee back while I'm kind of wedging that knee out. So again, starting here, foot up and around onto the ankle, or hand up around onto that ankle, and then go through onto the outside of that knee. So that's a little extra credit. Once you get locked in, you just lean back onto it, try and get your shoulders on the floor. If you're like really struggling, you can go back to the first version of it. it might mean you got some tight glutes. But we're gonna go, I want you to take five big deep breaths and then we'll switch it over to the other side. So on your own five breaths and then switch. Yeah, it looks like everybody's on that second leg or finishing up. I think that's just about our half hour there. Um, did a, I've, I had a couple more stretches, exercises that kind of glossed over for the sake of time, but I will post up the whole kind of routine. This whole sequence, really good warm up for like days when we're doing pulling exercises, deadlifts, cleans, or even like if you know you got a kind of a tricky lower back that gets sore really easy uh, or just takes you a long time to warm it up, this is really good stuff to do ahead of time on your own uh, just to get moving well before you do that stuff, especially people that have like extra problems with their low back to do this stuff, uh, those stability exercises and some extra stretching there. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'll post up the, the routine for you. So, uh, so you guys can do it on your own. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful rest of your night. Go eat some tasty dinner or something. Thank you. Go get into Core Blast in half an hour. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.